Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of MEW or Max Extreme Wrestling, where today we have for you a brand new review, and it is on the first three figures of WWE Elite Series 98. Yes, I know, we have an old series, like what, almost two years now? A year and a half, something like that. Oh, it's it's over a year old, but uh, yeah, I'm still getting to these, so this probably won't get watched a lot. So if you guys are here and watching this, I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy my review of Elite Series 98 all the way through to catch up until we heat, until we get to Elite Series 100. These next few waves, so 98 and 99, will be 3-in-1 reviews instead of the traditional 2-in-1s. So you'll get a look at three figures instead of two. Then Elite, 10, Elite 100, I have something special. And then Elite 101 to... You know, what we're on now, Elite 104, I believe, by now, is going to be the standard 2-in-1s reviews. So, yep, the next couple, the next few reviews will be 3-in-1, and then you'll have the 2-in-1s after Elite 100. So, first up, we have Elite Series 98, Mandy Rhodes, who is no longer in the company. Such a shame. She was a really good performer in the ring. I actually really liked Mandy Rhodes, so... Ah, uh, that was a huge loss in my opinion. We have Rick Boogs right here. And then we have one of my personal favorites of all time, Randy Orton. Super awesome Randy Orton. But you got Mandy Rhodes right here. Picture of her name right there. Got a nice beautiful picture of her right there. Another beautiful picture of her. Rest of the figures in the wave. Her bio read. If you guys would like to pause it, you can pause it now. And just more standard stuff right there. Her name right there. And then we have Rick Boogs' packaging right here. You got Boogs there. Boogs there. He is first time in the line right here, which is absolutely beautiful. You have a massive, really good shot of Rick Boogs right there. Another shot of Boogs right there. Rest of the figures in the wave. And his bio read. If you guys would like to pause it to read it, you can pause it now. Some more stuff right there. And then Randy Orton's packaging. You got Randy Orton here. Randy Orton here. More Randy Orton there. More Randy Orton right there. More figures right there of people right there. We have his bio read. If you guys would like to pause it to read it, you can pause it now. More stuff on that side. But guys, that's it for these three. So let's crack Mandy Rhodes, Rick Boogs, and Randy Orton out of their packaging. And here is everybody out of their packaging looking really, really good. I am super Super impressed with these three figures so far out of the packaging. So, how we're going to do this is we're going to go over Mandy Rhodes' accessories, then Mandy Rhodes, then Rick Boogs' accessories. Wow, that was a mouthful. And then Rick Boogs himself. And then we'll go over Randy Orton's accessories, then Randy Orton, and then we'll compare Randy Orton to some other Randy Orton's in my collection. So, guys, let's dive into Mandy Rhodes' accessories. All right, guys, so Mandy Rhodes doesn't come with a lot of stuff, but she comes with enough that she needs. So, first up, she comes with her entrance pose hands these kind of actually remind me about the uh the candace LeRae from like elite 85 or something no not elite 85 like elite oh the elite 87 yeah the elite 87 candace LeRae. these kind of remind me of hers but they got the really nice black nail, nail polish on them and then out of the packaging on the figure she does come with the mic holding hands with the black nail polish that looks really really nice and then this is a pretty cool piece. So she comes with like her, I don't know what you call this, her wings backpack. So you got like little backpack straps right here. And this does fit on the figure very well. I will say, um, you'll have to kind of lean her back a little bit to keep her standing. Because these are kind of like a little top heavy. So they will cause her to fall over. But yeah. That's it for Mandy Rhodes' accessories, so let's dive into Mandy Rhodes herself. Alright guys, and diving into Mandy Rhodes herself, starting out with head sculpt. And we have a pretty nice head sculpt. I do like it. I like the eye makeup, I like the hair color, I like the lip color, I like everything going on with this head sculpt. This is definitely better than her last one. Now, I don't own her last figure, but this is still a really nice head sculpt. Going down into the, what do you want to call it, going down into the attire... Basically, she does have a waist swivel. It is a nice red attire. There's some nice stitching along the sides right there. Really, really nice. I like how the hair goes down and everything like that. F flows over everything really nice. Now, one thing I do hate about this is the right arm. Perfectly smooth. Really smooth. Or the left arm. Yeah, the right arm. Perfectly smooth. The left arm. Right there. 
it's stopping right there. A lot of these figures in Elite 90 that were women's would stop right about there. Which that sucks for trying to use them. So it's like, I, I don't know what to do about that. But her arm can move up and down on this side. She does have a nice bicep articulation right there. Double jointed pinless arms. Nothing on her wrists or arms or anything like that. Going down to that, she has her black bottoms. With all the nice studs going all over. She's got like the... I don't know what these are called, but they got a little detailing right here on her upper thighs. She's got the upper thigh cut. She can kick forward really, really nice. She does have double jointed knees. She has an upper boot rotation. She has like the uh, the fishnet stockings for the, the socks that go up to her calf. Really, really nice. Some really nice boots. I like these boots, actually. These are really nice. You got little buckles and straps all over the boots. They do have a nice ankle rocker and an ankle pivot, but guys, that's it for Mandy Rhodes. All in all, not a bad figure. It's just this arm being, you know, as bad as it is, is terrible. Oh yeah, also there's really nice sculpting. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it in there, but there's a little bit of a ledge. So it's like they sculpted all of this on her torso, which is really, really nice. Her chest, the torso, everything like that, even along the back. It's all sculpted in there, which is really cool. I love it that they're getting these like extra details with these women's figures. I absolutely love it. Well, Mandy Rhodes herself. So let's dive into Rick Boogs' accessories. And diving into Rick Boogs' accessories, starting out with the interchangeable hands. He does come with the rock and roll or devil horn hands signature to Edge or similar to Edge and everything like that. But these are really, really cool. What would Rick Boogs, you know, the rock star, be without these? He also does come with some interchangeable fisted hands, which are really, really nice. So he can beat people up all day after singing you his beautiful song. Really, really nice right there. And then out of the packaging on the figure, he does come with the mic holding hands, which are very nice. Now, the star of the show for this Rick Boogs is his guitar. This is awesome. He's got the strap so it can fit over his head and everything like that. It's got the nice little wavy details and it breaks. So you could like bash it over somebody and, and simulate it breaking. It's got all the nice like electric guitar details. Really, really nice. We need more guitars from Mattel and WWE. Like we get a few of the acoustic guitars. Like we got some with the honk. We got a couple with Honky Tonk Man. We got a couple with our rocks. And we got a couple with. Yeah, the Honky Tonk Man and the Rock are like the only ones that came with it. Oh yeah, and the entrance greats, Elias, came with a really nice one. But this is a nice one too, but it don't break like the acoustic ones do. But it's still cool, you know, you could break it over somebody and still and simulate that it broke. But yeah, that's it for Rick Boogs' accessories. So let's dive into Rick Boogs himself. Alright guys, and diving into Rick Boogs himself, starting out with the head sculpt. And I love this head sculpt. This is a great head sculpt. Great facial hair, great likeness to Boogs himself. Really awesome. You got the white headband in there. Now this piece is pretty cool. You can actually port it out. So you can have a current day short-haired Boogs. You just kind of have that hole in the top of his head. But it's really cool that they did this. So you can get two different options for Rick Boogs. Going down into the torso. Going down into the torso, he does have his tattoo right there. Really, really nice. And this is kind of like the Undertaker's thing, but it's not as pliable. It is still pliable, but, you know, you can get the ab crunch out of it. Really, really nice. That doesn't hinder articulation. Both arms can move, unlike Mandy Rhodes. And he does have a upper, or he does have a bicep articulation in there. Double-jointed pinless arms, as well as white wrist tape. Really, really nice. Going down and looking at the rest of the attire, it does say Let's Ride right there in the nice, like, Kind of jeans, denim color. Really, really nice. You got all the reds. You got all the detailing right there. You got R&B on the butt for Rick Boogs. Got all the nice, like, dark greenish gray look. And you got kind of like this flannel look right here, too, which is really, really nice. Going down into the shorts, really, really nice right here. He does have a waist swivel. Really tight, actually. Really, really nice. A really good kick forward, an upper thigh cut, double-jointed knees, a upper boot rotation, an ankle rocker, as well as an ankle pivot. But guys, that's it for Rick Boogs. A really... 
This might be my favorite figure out of the set so far. Like, I don't know. I'm a big Rick Boogs guy. I'm a really big Rick Boogs fan. Like, I really like this figure from head to toe. Like, it kind of reminds me of Sheamus with how seamless it was. Like, if you guys remember the Elite Series 97 Sheamus that I reviewed, I called it seamless. Like, it didn't really... It looked more like the person than an action figure. And that's the way that I see this Rick Boogs. And this is a really good Rick Boogs. But yeah, that's it for Boogs. A really solid figure. So let's dive into Randy Orton's accessories. All right, guys, and diving into Randy Orton's accessories, starting out with the interchangeable hands. He does come with his entrance or entrance pose hands or signature pose hands. These are really, really nice. I love these a lot. They do have the black peg in there with the black wrist tape or well, the hand tape. Really, really nice. And then out of the packaging on the figure, Randy Orton does come with the mic holding hands with the black hand tape as well as the black pegs. Very nice indeed. And Randy Orton does come with a Raw Tag Team Championship. These are the better versions of these because... There's a couple different ones out there. The first ones were these like really shiny championships and these are more dull and I think these are more accurate to what we see on TV. I like the duller look ones because I have both versions. I have shiny and dull versions and I use the dull versions for everything just because like they give it that nice shine and it doesn't like over like do it and it's really, really nice. I do like this a lot. Very nice and yeah. That's it for Randy Orton's accessories, so let's dive into Randy Orton himself. Alright guys, and diving into Randy Orton himself, starting out with a head sculpt. And diving into Randy Orton himself, I like this head sculpt a lot. This is a really good representation of Randy Orton with the mustache and the little chin hair there. Really, really nice. Hair looks good for Randy. Really good head sculpt. This is definitely one of his uh, better head sculpts that they've done. Then again, they haven't really, they've never had a hard time capturing Randy Orton. They've had a very easy time capturing him. Very nice for Randy. Going down into his arms. His arms can move. Well, look at that. Better than Mandy Rhodes's. That just sucks that the Mandy Rhodes's right arm, the her left arm doesn't move at all. But you got all of Randy Orton's absolutely beautiful tattoo work on his back. Going down both of his arms, even going on to the upper parts of his shoulders. But he does have the upper, well, the bicep articulation. Double jointed pinless arms, black wrist tape, and this is basically a re-release of the Elite 87 Randy Orton, which we'll take a comparison when we compare him, but he's got pretty much the same attire with the dark brownish red, little details in there outlined in white, and then it has RKO across the butt, then it's RKO across the black knee pads, but he does have a really good, really good ab crunch, a really good waist swivel. A really good kick leg articulation right there wow he okay this is the best feeling figure that i have felt so far out of these three i mean rick boogs right here feels really nice in the hand too but this randy is great now i know his ultimate edition is out but if you can't get the ultimate try and get this randy this one is really good I know he's a bit older. He's Elite 90, what, Elite 98 is what we're doing. This is just a really, really tight Randy Orton figure. This feels really good in the hand. Like, oh my gosh. But yeah, he can kick forward very good. Upper, upper thigh cut, really good. Double jointed knees, really, really good. Upper boot rotation. An ankle rocker and an ankle pivot. But guys, that is it for Randy Orton. So, let's compare Randy Orton to some other Randy Ortons in my collection. Alright guys, and here is, and comparing our Elite 98 Randy Orton to the rest of the Randy Ortons in my collection. Like I said, this is a re-release of the Elite 97, just with a new head sculpt. Very, very nice, but that's what he compares to the Elite 97. The top picks Randy Orton, the Elite... Oh, I don't even know what this one is. This one comes with the Evolution t-shirt from when Evolution reformed in 2014. So this is a really good one as well. The Elite 91, the best Randy Orton they've done. I might head swap the Elite 91 because I really like this head sculpt. So I might head swap it, put it on this one. We got the Decade of Dominations Randy Orton right here. And then you have the SummerSlam Build-A-Figure Dominic Mysterio Randy Orton right here. And that is comparing him to all of my Randy Ortons in my collection. But yeah, 
that's all the Randy Ortons. All right, guys, and that is going to wrap things up for you guys on the review. Oh, all right, guys, that is going to wrap things up for the review today on the WWE Elite Series 98, Mandy Rhodes, Rick Boogs, and Randy Orton. Honestly, all three figures are really good, minus Mandy Rhodes. I mean, she's really good. I mean, I like her figure a lot. It's just the shoulder. That left shoulder not working. That is like, that is a pain that that shoulder does not work. But hey, we'll build the bridge and get over it. I, I like everything about her figure. Rick Boogs is just fantastic. It's Rick Boogs. What do you ask for? You know, he's just going to sit there and play the world a song. And I'm all for it. So, and Randy Orton is just Randy Orton. He's been around for 20 years. He'll probably be around for another 10. Um, but man, I miss Randy. I'm, I, I miss watching Randy compete in the ring. I hope he can recover soon and get back in the ring. But if he has to retire, I mean, th thank, thank you, Randy, for all the memories and everything like that. But hopefully he can heal up and come back to the ring soon because we really need him. I mean, I guess we really don't, but in a way, we do kind of do. But anyway, yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy the review. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and a comment down below and consider subscribing to the channel with turning on that notification bell so that you guys never miss an upload here on the channel. Go follow my Instagram. If you guys are interested in getting any of these three, they are still available at ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com. Two links to get you to the same website. Go grab these figures. The Randy Orton Ultimate Edition is actually going to be back in stock here soon at the end of August, so gro go grab him if you want a really good Randy Orton. I don't have them yet. I just assume it's going to be really, really good. But go grab these figures. Go grab any of the other figures you guys might want. I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys in the very next review. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And peace.